Talk of a GT4 RS has existed since the original GT4 first appeared in 2015. And while it was mostly just wishful thinking for the first few years, that began to change in May of 2017 when a car disguised as a 981 GT4 appeared on a track. The only visible difference between this car and a standard 981 GT4, other than the foam arches installed inside the wheel wells to gauge the motion and distance of the suspension travel, was the lowered tailpipe. But it was not the car's appearance that raised suspicion. It was the fact that Porsche was trying to make it look like they were testing a new 981 almost exactly one year after production of the 981 ended. Then two years later, in September of 2019, something a little more pronounced appeared on the track. It was a 718 GT4, but it was covered in rudimentary but very extreme aerodynamics. The hood now had two NACA ducts on either side that are separated by an indentation in the center. These are most likely for cooling the brakes as they are on the previous GT3 RS. The intakes behind the rear doors appear to be slightly larger and sailing high at the rear is an enormous convex wing with heavily camouflaged vertical supports. The rear three-quarter windows now house louvered intakes for cooling the engine, and on the large blister at the center of the front splitter is a piece of black vinyl concealing something. Most likely, script that reads GT4 RS, as it appears in the same location on the GT2 RS. In September of 2019, a new prototype appeared with a reworked rear wing, a more defined rear spoiler, and it was now wearing 718 GT4 wheels. The rear wing has become more horizontal than convex, and new sets of enormous brakes now spin at all four wheels. Then in April of 2020, a different prototype was spotted doing cold weather testing. The enormous rear wing and brakes were replaced by the standard 718 GT4 components, and the car was now sporting a mismatched set of aftermarket center lock wheels. The NACA intakes on the hood were most likely covered up due to the colder environment. In August of 2020, a still rough but more refined prototype appeared. The extractor vents on the side of the front fascia are larger and more developed although they are completely covered with vinyl. The intake housed in the three-quarter panel is more defined, but still in an early development stage, and the car is wearing what looks to be the magnesium wheels that were included with the Wysock package available with the GT2 RS and 918 Spider. The fenders are slightly wider, and for the first time, we're seeing camouflage covering the air pressure extractor vents on the top of the front fenders and also down by the doors. And at the rear, the car is sporting an updated exhaust system. On January 25th of 2021, the most evolved prototype yet was spotted doing additional extreme weather testing. The new secondary intake has been blended into the body and is taking a more pronounced shape. The wing is now concave and the swan neck vertical supports appear to be finalized but are wrapped in camouflage. Updated extractor vents on the sides of the front fascia are being concealed and the car is now wearing a set of ultra lightweight center lock wheels that have never been seen before. It also features a much deeper front splitter and an internal roll cage. And then just two days later, images of a completely undisguised production GT4 RS appeared. It's mostly the same as the sixth generation prototype, except it features more refined extractor vents in the front fascia, completed three-quarter intakes with multiple chambers, suggesting that these are cooling more than just the engine, and updated vertical wing supports. But with everything we now know about the GT4, there seems to be more questions than answers. After watching the GT4 RS morph into something so advanced and beastly, the biggest question now is, how far will the GT4 RS be encroaching into GT3 territory? The Cayman is Porsche's entry-level car, and the 911 is their halo car, and Porsche has always gone to great lengths to keep it that way. 
In order for the GT4 to be kept under the thumb of the GT3, its bark is going to have to be a lot louder than its bite, which is a problem because right now this thing looks like it could bite a GT3 right in half. With the GT4 RS being smaller, lighter, more nimble, and mid-engined, there's plenty of potential for it to outperform the much more expensive GT3. And at the level that Porsche has pushed the GT4 RS's performance to, how could it not? There's only one way, and that leads to the next question. How much horsepower will it produce? The only way Porsche can keep the performance of the GT4 RS under that of the GT3 is by keeping the power dialed back. Most people are speculating that the GT4 RS will have 500 horsepower and the 992 GT3 will have 510. And if that were to be the case, the GT4 RS would no doubt outperform the GT3. Also, what's going on with the engine where it requires so much additional air? When you consider that the GT3 makes do without any air intakes on the body, why does the GT4 RS require four of them? The only reasonable answer would be because the original engine is receiving a huge power bump. What we can assume about the GT4 RS is that the engine will remain naturally aspirated and probably be a heavily tuned version of the 4 liter unit currently in the GT4. A PDK gearbox will most likely be the only transmission option and it should weigh close to 3,000 pounds. The price is estimated to be around $130,000, and we don't know if it will be a limited production car, but expect it to sell fast and have a huge dealership premium attached to the price. The car and its figures won't likely be made official until a few months after the 992 GT3 has been announced. No reveal date has been given for the GT3 yet, but it should be in the first quarter of 2021 so expect a reveal for the GT4 RS sometime in the third or fourth quarter in 2021. Until Porsche officially announces the GT4 RS and its figures, all we can do is speculate. But we can expect the rest of 2021 to be an exciting year for Porsche, as at least four new GT cars will be announced. Thanks for checking out this video. For more Porsche content that cannot be found anywhere else, click below to subscribe to this channel.